What is up, you legends? My name is Mike. Most of you will know of me as Onslaught. That is my Xbox Live Gamer tag. I've been playing a good bit of the Medal of Honor Warfighter beta, so I figured I would share with you guys, you know, my thoughts on it. Uh, you know, it's not really a review, more like a, an impressions video. This is a free download on Xbox Live Marketplace. If you guys want to check it out, download it, play it, feel free to uh, to do that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm primarily a Call of Duty player, and and I'm having a lot of fun. I probably played four or five hours so far, mostly by myself. I might have played an hour the other night with with some buddies, but for the most part, I've just been playing it by myself. And I don't know if just if because it's different, because it's new, I'm I'm having so much fun playing it, or um, if it's actually really a, a good game. There are some some downsides, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But let's talk about you know a Call of Duty player like myself coming into this Medal of Honor game. Um, the first thing I noticed was you know this map and and the environment and the detail and everything is I think it's attractive I think it's very I mean I would suggest watching this video in in 720p I think it looks I think it visually looks really good I don't have any problem with the design and the textures I think it all looks uh, looks sweet um, I really like the fact that it seems like there is tons of customization you can do throughout this game but at the same time that's one of the downsides because the menu system and it might just be me you know because I'm not an avid battlefield or Medal of Honor player um, but the menu system seems extremely complicated and it's not very straightforward it might be the same way for people jumping into Call of Duty for the first time I, I don't know but that is uh, one of the downsides is trying to figure out the the, the depth of the uh, the menu system there what else do we have I, I like the I like the hit registration in this game, you know, it's it's pretty for the most part, it's pretty accurate. You know, I'm getting beat by the class setup that I'm using, and this is the class that I have I've had the most fun with. Um, it's the weakest primary gun I think that you can have in the game, but at the same time, you're the fastest. You can you can move around the map the fastest with this class setup, and then also you get this ability where you can kind of see through walls. You'll see that little uh, maybe that was it you'll see me use it from time to time it's uh for a couple seconds you get the ability to to see the other team so you get that ability with this uh with this class as well but uh where where was i dude i got i got so off track I was talking about the class setup um there's this new thing called fire team so basically you're a two-man team but you're part of a larger team um i think it's an eight man overall that's my buddy right there up there in front of me uh, you can see him kind of on the right side. He's in he's in green there. But we can kind of work off with each other. If I run out of ammo or have low health, I can go to him and refill those things. Um, I can also spawn near him if I choose to, if he's not in a, a gunfight, which really speeds up the pace of the game. You know, I think before, whenever you would die, you would always have to respawn back at your team's primary spawn, wherever that is. But now, with this new fire team set up, if you're teammate is safe you have the option to spawn near him which is awesome you know you can potentially spawn on the other side of the map if uh, if you're communicating and everything is, is going well at the moment I'm out of ammo in my primary so you can see I'm kind of working my way towards my teammate over there who's glowing but uh, I realize I'm going to use my little look at that that's my little hacker vision I don't know what it's called but I could see a couple ghosted bodies back there so I'm just gonna just gonna chill here for a second keep in mind I don't know my teammate we're just randoms partied up together I just unlocked this uh, chopper point streak or whatever too so you guys will get to see that uh, that go into action it's it's kind of like uh, modern warfare 3 in the fact that it's not kill streaks it's point streaks so everything from assist to completing the objectives to getting kills you know adds to the uh, your streaks that uh, that you have have set but i've been having a lot of fun with this game i'm curious if if it's just me or if everybody else is enjoying it some of the downsides or I guess the major flaw is kind of the, the clunkiness that you'll feel from time to time. There are points during the gameplay where things feel really smooth. Like, I'm like, man, this feels really good. But I think most of you know that the Medal of Honor Battlefield series isn't designed for consoles. I think it's designed for, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's designed for PC gameplay. Um, this is 30 frames per second gameplay and we're used to 60 frames per second with uh, with Call of Duty so that's another a big difference there are areas around the map and I don't know if it's just because this is the beta I understand that they're still working on things you know I realize that but you get caught on things from time to time when you're going prone to, to crouching you know it's not a really smooth fluid transmission it just feels just like you're 
player is kind of like a, a robot. It's just it's just awkward. But uh, that is the uh, the biggest downside to it. The game type here was actually really cool. It's kind of like a uh, a random demolition game. There are multiple points on the map. You're either on offense or defense, and you have to move around. And um, out of five different bomb sites, you have to, if you're attacking, you have to plan at least three. Or if you're defending, you have to defend at least three to uh, to win the game. Then you switch sides, which uh, which I think is is really cool. You know, it's not something that uh, that I've seen from from any Call of Duty game. But like I said, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of uh, of this gameplay, my thoughts and, and opinions on it. Being a Call of Duty player and playing a game or playing or jumping into a series that uh, I'm not entirely familiar with, I've had uh, been having a lot of fun with it. I don't know if I'm going to buy the game. I actually, I doubt that I'm going to buy. Uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter when it comes out because I'll just be too engrossed in, in Call of Duty and I'm not going to have the time to play it and I don't know if you guys will want to want to see it but if you're interested in uh, in sharing your thoughts feel free to do so in the comments below the challenge series is coming your way oh we go ham this week alright I'll catch up with you guys later see you on Xbox Live later guys